I had a difficult time finding a nice case for my Retroid Pocket 3 Plus, so I decided to just 3D print my own. But can you even 3D print something reliable or that looks nice so that you would even want to use it? We'll take a look at three 3D printed cases that are just as nice, if not nicer than anything you can buy. I was a little late to the Retroid party. The Retroid Pocket 3 Plus had already been on the market for months before I decided to pick one up, but I'm really glad that I did. Even though I have a Steam Deck, I still find myself reaching for the Retroid Pocket for emulation. But this video isn't a review or about what my Retroid Pocket did for me. It's about what I did for my Retroid Pocket. Let's take a minute to see what's available outside of 3D printing. You can't exactly just walk into a store and pick up a case for a Retroid Pocket, or really any emulation handheld for that matter. Unless maybe you live near some cool store that the rest of us don't know about. I have heard that some people use a Nintendo Switch Lite case for their Retroid Pocket 3, but I can tell you from personal experience that it's not really a great fit. At least not with the Switch Lite case that I have from RDS Industries that I picked up at Target. It has these cutouts so that the Switch Lite kind of just falls into place, but since the Retroid is smaller than the Switch Lite, it doesn't do the same. Also, the Retroid appears to be about a millimeter thicker than the Switch Lite. I mean, yeah, you can get it in there and get the case to zip closed, but it's not snug, and for that reason, it makes me a little uncomfortable. There's a few cases on Amazon you can try, like this one from Wargia, but check this out. The first review in the listing says, Great case for my Retroid Pocket 3 Plus. Finally found a case that perfectly fits my handheld. But if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see RP3 doesn't fit at all. I'll let you take that risk. Retroid does sell two cases on their own website, one made to use with the grip and one without. But unless you order it when you order your device, you're going to be waiting a couple weeks since this is coming from China. But hey, maybe you live in China. At 10 bucks, it's probably worth it though. But what if you're like me and you didn't order a case when you ordered your device? You don't want it to get messed up because of how long it would take to get a replacement, but the whole point of a handheld is to be able to carry it around and you want to be able to keep that thing on you. That's why I turned to 3D printing. The first case that I stumbled upon is more of a clip-on shield than a case. A clip shield, if you will. It simply clips right to the front of the device and has these cutouts to protect the buttons, joysticks, and even leaves space to keep the screen from touching the plastic. The slim profile of the clip shield is probably the main reason I like it so much. I can drop the whole console into my pocket without having to worry about the joysticks or the screen. Sure, it does leave the back exposed, but it's not like I'm going to be putting anything else in my pocket with the Retroid. What makes this design even more impressive is that it clips to the back of the console as well. So when I want to play a game, all I have to do is pop it off and pop it right back onto the back. The added thickness makes the Retroid easier to hold, too. It even has cutouts for the vents on the back and the speakers on the bottom. The vent cutouts do leave small areas of the screen exposed when the clip shield is on the front, but I've never had any issues with scratches or anything. You should be using a screen protector anyway. The clips clear all of the buttons on the sides and top of the device, so you don't have to worry about the clip shield changing your game volume or pressing the home button. I've noticed some small scuff marks on the top of my Retroid from taking the clip shield on and off, but they're very tiny and don't bother me at all. I'm much more concerned about keeping the screen and the joystick safe. It took a little over nine hours to print this on my Ender 3 V2. I initially had some issues with one of the edges warping, but switching from a glass bed to a PEI sheet and printing it with a brim seemed to solve that issue. Sorry for the 3D printing jargon if you don't know what I'm talking about. The clip shield was designed by Joshua over at Part-Time CAD. I'll link his Etsy page below in case you don't have a 3D printer but would like to get your hands on your own clip shield. If you do have a 3D printer, there's a link to the STL as well, so you can print one too. He also has a similar case for the Retroid Pocket 2S if you're looking for something for that device. The clip shield is my go-to case for the Retroid Pocket 3 Plus, especially since I just take mine around the house. But what if I need to take my Retroid outside of the house? Thankfully, there's a more durable option out there, simply called the Retroid Pocket 3 Plus Rugged Travel Case. Unlike the clip shield that's printed in one piece, the rugged travel case is made up of several pieces that all fit together. 
All in all, it took about three days to print everything. I wanted this case to have the same color scheme as my Retroid, so I printed the body in purple to match the shell, the letters and the insert in yellow to match the clip shield, and the clips on the front in gray to match the buttons. The purple and gray aren't exact, of course, but it's close enough for me. I used a bit of super glue to attach the Retroid logo into the inserts on the top of the case. Unfortunately, the glue is visible through the logo because of the light color and how thin the letters are printed. So you may want to pick a darker filament if you decide to print this. The insert inside of the case separates your charger or any accessories you may need from the console, which is pretty handy. I cut out a piece of 2mm foam to glue to the top of the case for added protection. The whole thing is held together with a handful of size M3 screws. There are two inserts available for this case, and apparently I printed the wrong one initially. Because I added the foam, the case wouldn't close with a console inside. I had to reprint the shorter insert. This will be my go-to case when I need to put the Retroid in a suitcase or a bag or something for an overnight trip. And in case you're wondering, no, the console won't fit in this case if the clip shield is attached. The case isn't wide enough or tall enough, but I imagine if you printed the case a bit bigger, it would work. You would have to adjust the size of the screws you use to hold everything together though, because the holes would get bigger too. This case was designed by Goroth1007 on the printables website, and I left a link to the page in case you want to print it yourself. I couldn't find any information on whether or not he sells these cases, but if someone knows that he does, let me know and I'll add a link. The third case falls somewhere between the first two. It's a thin case that covers both the front and the back of the console, but it isn't nearly as thick as the rugged travel case. I feel like I should mention that I had a difficult time getting this case to print. It would print for about an hour and then a support would get messed up and I would have to start all over again. I almost just made this video about two cases, but I decided to push through. Just for you, the viewer. Maybe subscribe if you appreciate that. This case prints in just two pieces. I printed most of the case in purple again, surprise, surprise, but I also printed the first eight layers of the top of the case in yellow to match everything else. I used some small pieces of stainless steel lock wire to hold the hinges together. It was a tight fit, but it worked out nicely. This case is very tight on the Retroid. Now, in defense of the design, part of that is my fault. You can see that the left side of the case printed just fine, and the case closes flush here. But on the right side, there's this odd gap. Why is that? Well, I believe I had a bit of warping and didn't notice during the print. I think this corner lifted off of the print bed, which ended up making this whole side a bit wonky. It still works though, and I can get the console inside and get it to close. This thing latches pretty tight, so I don't think you'll need to worry about it just popping open in your bag. Oh, and this one took about two days to print. I think this is a very cool looking case, but I'm going to stick to the rugged travel case if I need to just throw my console in a bag. That's just personal preference though. I think this is a really nice looking case. This one was designed by Bells on the Printables website. You can find the link to the STL files in the description with the others. By the way, I'm not being sponsored by any of these cases. I'm just showing you some things that I think are pretty cool. What case are you using for your Retroid Pocket? Would you use a 3D printed case? Do you think you could trust it? Let me know in the comments down below. You can check out my social media here if you're into that kind of thing. Also, I would greatly appreciate it if you would share this video with a friend. It's an easy and free way to support this channel. I'll catch you on the next one.